it's times like these where I would say it's nothing personal, kid, but it is personal. I sincerely hate you. So let's... No, Stan, are you kidding me right now? Okay, he's not dead. He's fine. We could still steal his life. Can you please steal his life? Oh, okay. We're pulling a bit of a Palpatine. I don't think Palpatine ever made somebody explode like a jam balloon. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Just Die Already, that game where you really don't need to worry about drowning because shark poop and severed limbs float. I should probably add a disclaimer. I don't actually know if that's true. Like, I I'm not claiming to be some kind of turd biologist or, or butthole aficionado. I'm just saying that this neighborhood doesn't need lifeguards. It needs railings and signs. But some of you guys might remember that when we last left off, I had mentioned something about a vampire, except you guys didn't see a vampire because I ended up cutting it for time. It didn't really go anywhere, but I found if you do a little hardcore parkour and then into this apartment, past the Acme dining room bomb and up the back stairs, you'll find yourself face to face with a lady of the evening. Uh, meaning a vampire, not a hooker. It's a much toothier kind of suck. And the thing is, my bucket list says that I'm supposed to slay her, but I don't know if that means like a wooden steak and garlic kind of slay, or, or like yes queen slay. I think this might be a good place to start though. I noticed that if we can find a key, we might be able to get in here and then find some kind of vampire weapon, I suppose. You see, the problem with that plan is that everything and every one in this neighborhood is insane. Oh, I, I didn't deserve that. The people here are just absolute lunatics. I don't understand. I'm just looking around for a key. Excuse me? Oh, you don't want me in there, huh? Oh, I don't think so. You're clearly hiding something good, like uh, a key. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Dude, I'm a geriatric old man wandering around, not the neighborhood stray cat. You can't do this to me. I'm stuck. Oh, we'll see about that. I'll make you regret your decision yet. Uh, Stan, Stan, I really need you to to throw it. You got you got you got to throw it, Stan. You got to Okay, you know what? It's probably close enough. How did that not kill me? <laughs> what kind of bomb-proof bush is this? I'll take it! Finally, things are going my way. Do you think whatever crazy hoarder lives here would have a key? It looks like they've got everything else. I don't think I'm going to be able to very easily jump up there, but fortunately, I know somebody nearby who might be willing to lend a hand. Hey, Mr. Kebab, I don't suppose I could borrow your fire extinguisher, and it's totally because I'm on fire and not because I want to Mary Poppins my way into breaking and entering. Yeah, this should work perfect. Just go ahead and get ourselves up there. Beautiful. Now if I can drop that and nothing explodes, it's my lucky day. <laughs> well, yeah, he's got a whole bunch of stuff here. That's for sure. Oh, the bookshelf is actually a secret door. Or a secret drawbridge. Close enough. There is a key, though. <laughs> Listen, sometimes drawbridges come with a toll, and getting squished is a toll that I'm willing to pay. <laughs> so long as I get what I want. There you go. Oh, we got a ticket as well. Be sure to use this on something. What have we got back here? I mean, those are clearly landmines, but I'm not sure what else. Looks like a grenade, maybe some fireworks. I don't care. No, I got my key. I'm not going to risk losing this. <laughs> Fingers crossed I do end up finding some kind of crucifix gun or something cool like that rather than moldy boomers. <laughs> How do you put the key in the lock though? I, I can grab hold of it and I can drop the key. Please tell me this key actually works with this door. Did I go through all that for nothing? So I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is I realized if you grab the bongo guy, he stops his face melting solo, which has been driving me crazy for like 15 minutes as I struggle with those keys. Stan, you don't need to fart in his face, okay? He's got it bad enough as it is. 
The bad news is I can't bludgeon him with a shovel, which was my initial plan, but now I'm thinking maybe we can dig him a shallow grave? Um, am I losing my mind or do those look like landmines? <laughs> uh, hey, Bongo guy, could you come back here for a quick sec? I gotta test something. Careful. Careful. Okay, well, yep, they're definitely landmines. Let's go ahead and let go of you, and uh, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. You still don't want me to dig that grave, do you? Because I, I, I can get right on it to just do a little something. Like, are you kidding me? Okay, well, I think I found the key. Wait. Did he just run over here and unlock it? The lock's gone. Oh. Thank you, Bongo Man. <laughs> He's gone back to his bongoing. <laughs> This is starting to look a whole lot more like a moldy boomer than it is a weapon. Please tell me there's something good in here. <gasps> I can't open it. Oh, okay. Well, we don't have a body, so that's a good start. Looks real deep. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, okay. Um, We got ourselves a crypt. <laughs> Interesting. Should I take a look around? Am I going to run into anybody down here? Hopefully not. Well, that's probably not good. Looks like the lock didn't disappear, it just relocated. <laughs> now I'm locked in. I gotta find myself a key because I didn't think I was gonna have to bring the one that I already had. But there's not really much going on down here. And for this guy, I don't suppose you wanna help out at all. Do you, you hook? I didn't think he was gonna actually get up and dance. <laughs> That was genuine panic, and I'm kind of pissed that it got me. So how about you, skeleton number two? Are you going to be cool? Or are you also going to jump up and try to make me poop a little? Okay, yeah, you got your dancing, and you're going to slap the piss out of me. No, no, okay, I like my bones on the inside. It's just personal preference. Please respect that. Stop. Stop hitting me. Please. All right then. Well, I no no he's coming back for more. Ow! I no this this is fine. I can still get away from this. Wow, he's a whole lot pissier than the first one, isn't he? I might be in trouble. I can't run away. These spooky, scary bullies don't realize that I've got the power of magic dumpsters on my side. So I respawned and decided to bring them a couple of presents from the top. There we go. That's a whole lot better. I'm not taking any risks. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Like, I didn't come down here with the expectation of getting ripped apart or grave robbing, but as they say, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Hopefully we can find a key. Maybe a whole bunch of drinks. No, I'm not going to drink that. I know it's going to make me explode. I need a key. There's got to be one in here somewhere. I'm just going to assume there's no Captain Sauce grave because they couldn't find enough salt to fill it. A million years of searching later, and I've got myself a key. And I've found something called Room Full of Vampires. Not sure how I feel about going in here without a weapon. I did open a whole bunch of them. How about we arm ourselves first? I couldn't find any wooden stakes, but hopefully a couple of wooden bats will be close enough. <gasps> what have you got? Bring it on. I'm ready for you. Oh. I see. You in here? Hello? Knock, knock. You're like three feet tall? Come on, there's gotta be nothing. Except for dentures? I mean, I could always use some more dentures, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Go ahead, pop these in. Huh. Alright, not quite what I was hoping for today, but I can apparently steal people's life now. I don't know what this dude's deal was, but he had some real weird hobbies. I'm just happy that this thing didn't crawl across the floor at me. Would have lost my damn mind. I did, however, manage to find a stake, which means we're good to go. If I can figure out how to get out of here, maybe this. Oh, okay. Uh, is that a bad thing? Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> nice! We got our steak, and I got some fangs, and I'm, I'm gonna have to go steal somebody's life. It's times like these where I would say it's nothing personal, kid, 
But it is personal. I sincerely hate you. So let's... No, Stan. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, he's not dead. He's fine. We can still steal his life. Can you please steal his life? Oh. Okay, we're pulling a bit of a Palpatine. I don't think Palpatine ever made somebody explode like a jam balloon. <laughs> All right, well, I would say he's learned his lesson. Are you kidding me? I thought I was the immortal here. What? <laughs> Hit him again. Hit him with it again. There we go. A little force lighting. Unlimited. I was going to say power, but meat works too. I can't be screwing with you all day. I, I'm a true vampire, and I want to be the only one, which means we've got some staking to do. Now, in this case, it's actually nothing personal. I don't know you. I don't have anything against you. I'm just kind of dangerously swinging around these stakes. I really just want Mjolnir, so uh, out of the way. Oh. Oh, yeah, that, uh, surprisingly effective. <laughs> All right, then I will take it You guys remember last episode when the soup dude kept manhandling me and throwing me into his pot well, I think it's time we finally get revenge <laughs> gonna go ahead and hit him with me. Oh, come on Mjolnir did nothing Where was the lightning? <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not going in this too. I refuse Unlimited Power Power, why, why can't I drain your life? Hold on, let me maybe just line it up like this, and then, oh, 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 no, hit him with it. There we go. And meat. Oh, that felt good. Who's the stew now, jackass? I'll be taking this back, see if I can actually make something of it. There has to be a way to make it lightning. All right, well, in all reality, if he keeps coming back, that means I just keep getting to get grabbed by my nuggets and tossed in. That's just a stop. Jesus Christ, please stop. As far as I can tell, Mjolnir doesn't really do anything. I mean, I could smash people around, which is what you would expect from a hammer. Oh, but if I make a puddle of liquid or turn somebody into a puddle of liquid, then I suppose that can shock me. But now I know. Oh, I didn't turn you into a puddle of liquid. You know what? I had that sucker punch coming. <laughs> Good for you, sir. I think I turned this fan on with the electricity as well. That's super weird. Uh, sir, are you okay? Uh, don't worry. I, I know what to do in this case. First, you got to drink the milk. That makes you feel a little bit bloated. And and then you, you, you pee? But I'm pretty sure you're supposed to pee in this kind of scenario. Oh, I was supposed to pee on the electricity. I, I didn't mean to pee on your floor. It was gonna be a funny joke, but I screwed it up. You're fine. You're, oh, I'm not fine. I slipped in the pee. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? We pee onto the electricity and that works. And it's checked off our bucket list. Now, would you please call me an ambulance? I think my heart is in my colon. Yeah, this fan seems like an absolute hazard now, considering the dangers of the water. Looks like the sharks are even starting to build bombs. Somebody should look into that, I'm just saying. <laughs> Things are wild around here. I'm sure there are more storefronts for us. I need to keep looking around. Like, who knows what democracy surplus could have. Oh, that's definitely a gun store, isn't it? <laughs> you got weapons in there? How do I join? Oh, I see. Okay, we might want to follow that wire through the rat nest. This place is definitely not up to code. <laughs> Which, yeah, fits democracy to a key in some cases. Sure as hell not climbing all that way, so let's try a little something like that. I'm getting pretty good at the rocket, I gotta say. <laughs> so we just open you up and uh, press the button. Oh, come on, Stan. You could fly around with a rocket strapped to your asshole, but you can't press a button? Did that, that work? Okay, we pressed the button. That, that's That's got to be good enough, right? <laughs> Is it open? Uh, oh, yeah, it's open. Okay, perfect. So we're just going to go down here and uh, see what they've got for us. It's a whole lot of explosives. Yeah, they've got every kind of explosive here. <laughs> and cardboard cutouts of me why i think i just found the perfect thing to blow up 
<laughs> you wait right there, okay? I, I think the democracy surplus is across the water. I should be able to get over there easily enough, he says, before nearly falling in. So what are we going to use? They've got C4. I think they also had, like, the black hole grenade and B grenades and dynamite. I don't even know what some of these are. What are you? Yeah, let's go with a puppy bomb. I'll bring some C4 just in case, but he's still over there. Okay, perfect. Hey, big guy, I brought you a snack. Go ahead and choke on that. It is going to explode, isn't it? Oh, well, that's underwhelming. How close to this thing do you think I can get before it would eat me? Please don't eat me, please. Uh, you're very lovely pirouette. I just kind of want it. There we go. That, that's that got to be good enough. This thing blew me up from like 20 feet away. If it doesn't hurt the shark, then... Oh, okay, we're going to have to do this the hard way, are we? This is going to be really tricky because i got to avoid so many things. And i got to jump here and here and throw. I am nowhere close. Sorry about this, buddy, but uh, I, I tried my best. So this was the end of town that we haven't been to before, and it's looking real weird. We've got street meat that's getting hosed, or at least it's supposed to be getting hosed. It only happens when I'm nearby, oh, or they are. <laughs> Thanks. We've got a bunch of batteries. Oh, you know what? I'm willing to bet if I dragged somebody in here and hit them with Mjolnir, then this would be all charged. It would open up some kind of gate. That seems like a lot of effort, though. I might be able to get to something like that. We've also got uh, what I can only assume is a sumo nipple store and Troja. Uh, I can't even begin to guess what that would be. This looks dangerous. I'm going to go ahead and hurl myself in here real quick. Oh, all it does is eat you up, huh? I was kind of hoping for more, but... Yeah, that works. It's kind of the point to this. This is going to require a very delicate touch. Just a little squirt. There we go. Okay, your ankles are fine, Stan. Grow up. We could have been much worse off like whoever that was. <laughs> they clearly did not survive. Uh, Out on the docks now, huh? Interesting. Oh, we've got a hot tub. This looks like an actual hot tub, too. Not like the Twitch stream hot tub that we had last time. <gasps> this is not at all what I was expecting, though. There are no weapons. There are no people. Oh, oh, we got a chest. All right, don't mind if I do. Is it full of top hats? All right, well, now I look fancy when I blow up. Speaking of blowing up, what do you think this stable genius is up to? <gasps> I can actually talk to him, which is surprising. Excuse me, are, are, are you trying to die because I can help with that. Have you heard about Sushi Gate? No. Those jerks need to be brought down. Use a cannon and shoot the giant sign over there. The giant, oh, okay. Sushi and fries, huh? Do you want me to shoot her right between the tits? Um, well, you're on the cannon, so I probably shouldn't ignite it. But if I could, I would. How would I do that? Here we go. I found us a lighter. That's got to get the job done. <laughs> if I do something like... No, no, don't don't grab hold. Actually, maybe grab hold. Yeah, let's actually aim him a little bit. Something like that. Okay. Now, uh, just got to kind of touch it. Oh, please work. I can throw it. Like, if I... Why does everything go in the water? I... <laughs> It didn't give me the option to just light it. I don't have infinite lighters. Don't grow on trees. Well, fortunately, there's a cannon emporium down the road, so I managed to get my own. This is as far as I'm going to take things. It's lined up as good as it's going to get. Now, the lighters right here. This has to be what I need, right? Please work. Please just shoot. I mean, this one doesn't even have a fuse. I don't understand. Is it just because my brain is old and smooth? Like, they got all the things for cannons here. They got buttons to spawn more cannons. Uh, they spawned a cannon in my dick. Okay, yeah, that's a problem. I'm, I'm just going to throw it out there. I don't need to be a cannon biologist to understand that this is bad. I'm floating. <laughs> Somebody help. I think because this one was reborn inside my crotch, it managed to get a ball. 
<laughs> We're gonna assume that it's a cannonball and not one of mine. There, it's lined up. Now, the lighter, and we light it. Light it. How do we light it? Oh, oh, there we go. Please be lined up. Oh my. Okay, I thought I missed for a second. Yeah! <laughs> Suck it, sushi and fries. Wait, why did I do that? Just because this guy didn't like them? I mean, they probably were cool. I don't know. I'm gonna go eat there. Let's see if it's any good. Uh, they left me a bridge, fortunately. Can't get over there, though, because I lost my friggin' jetpack, so I guess I'm just shit out of luck. Yeah, let's go for a swim. Why not? All right, if you know what I think, that's gonna be it for this episode of Just Die already, guys. And I might not be the king of the world, but I'd like to be the king of this neighborhood sooner rather than later. I think there are still a whole bunch of secrets for us to find, but we're doing good. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to blow some more people up soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.